Hello and welcome back to the SCSP community channel. I'm your host Kaza and today we are going to be looking at another OSI NT tool and let's start off. So the tool that we're going to be looking at is called uh, Danger Zone and it comes pre-installed in the uh, in the Tsuruga Linux. So I have it here and to run the tool you're gonna have to go ahead and write danger zone top high right dash h flag for help and there you go so it's a tool that is basically used to correlate data between domains ips and email addresses right and presented as a graphical view so we're going to be looking at how it works um, so before we actually jump into the tool uh, there are some prereqs that uh, I would like to mention over here so you what you'd have to do is this tool actually makes use of uh, different APIs uh, one is from virus total the other one is from who is proxy so you're gonna have to set the API keys for those tools to work first right so in order to do that you'll have to go to the installation folder um, it is right here and you have over here the settings.json file this one right here now these are the keys that I'm talking about the hooks the hooks API key and the virus total API key. So for you to have these API keys, you'll have to create an account on these both of these sites and get these API keys first, right? Or otherwise it's going to tell you that it does not have the API keys and it won't run a scan, right? <clears throat> Let me show you where you can find the API keys on virus total. So you'd have to go to virus total login, right? Go ahead, virus total. Now I've already signed in over here. Now you go into API key right there. And there's your API key right there. So you can do that. That's my API key. Please don't use it. Okay. So you can get your API keys from there. So let me just go ahead and run the tool dangerzone.py. So let's just gather some information about google.com and see how it does. Right. So this flag dash dash domain is when you're giving a domain for correlation of domain. So there it goes, the virus total module that we have put the API key for so here you can see the uh, the graphical representation and well it shows you that the domain what IPs it is what IP it is being resolved to and what other domains that IP might be hosting so this is like this little correlation that it does between domains and IPs and well further we are going to um, have a look at how it's going to handle when we give it an IP instead of the domain so let's see that as well so now we're gonna go ahead and give IP address instead of the domain so we're gonna go ahead type in the command for that um, we're gonna use the address flag and we are going to use yep we're going to use google's ip right here so let's go ahead and press enter So here's the output when we gave uh, the IP address instead of 
uh, the domain so the geolocation module gives you the location of where the IP might be hosted uh, in United States Mountain View California um, and then it res re resolves the IPs to which domains it is being resolved it, those are written right here and then the virus total module and it tells you if there is uh, there is potentially a dangerous link to those IPs now moving on we have now here I had given Vive as an input because it was asking me if I, if I wanted to run uh, domain checks on these three domains right so I gave it a Y so it went ahead and did a domain check on all of those listed domains right <clears throat> resolving to that and then after running all the checks uh, at the end it produced a graph and that graph looks like this so you have your IP at the middle and then it tells you which domains it is being resolved to right and if those domains are connected to other IPs as well so this is the correlation that it does when which is very similar to the one it did when we gave it the domain and another use of this is with the email addresses so you can go ahead email and type in whatever your email so I'll give it my email why not and that's going to use the Truman module for checking the validity of the email so no response received from mail server so I guess you gotta set up the API for that as well <coughs> and now it's going to search for this username across different platforms and we'll tell you if it exists or not So there you go, that's it has started searching for this username. He's able to find it on these platforms. Instagram, Twitter. And whatnot so I'm just going to stop it right over there and we do happen to have this other flag that I wanted to uh, just tell you about the elastic search one now what it does is basically if you go ahead and you type in this right and give it elastic search at the end so whatever output you're getting right it's going to be saved into the Elasticsearch database and then you can go ahead and search for the output later right if you want to search for the output so that was it for this video hope you uh, like the video if you did like it please do a press the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel or if you happen to have any queries do comment it down below and that would be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.